Hi there. I am here to talk about the energy of the week. It's a brand new week. And uh, there's a lot going on in the world, right? So I'm going to pull a couple of cards. We have several astrological events I just wanted to mention because whenever there's a shift in the that energy we personalize it we feel it you know inside of ourselves and we feel it in the collective and sometimes it's just great to name that so you kind of you kind of recognize it oh that's what's going on that's what the shift is it's like the shift from one season to another um, everyone feels it oh that's what it is there's more sun now or that's what it is it's a thunderstorm coming in does that make sense the energy is the same way and that's one of the ways that we can use uh, astrology in a very practical way that it just signals to us it's like a map of what's going on inside of us so uh the first exciting thing well i no let's start with mercury moving into pisces back into pisces so um there's still we're still covering some ground that we did in the last month and we're still in that watery creative it's better to put your hands in the soil or sing or dance or paint than it is to really try to do your taxes just at this second just at this moment uh maybe maybe let it move out of pisces to to make sure you're getting all of your data straight because uh, Mercury in Pisces isn't really so much about details and data as it is about feelings, memories, sens uh, not so much sensations, but um, mystical impressions, um, psychic impressions. It's very much an empath time, right? So um, one thing I have going on is a lot of water has gathered on the back of my roof so much that the back roof is bending. And so I've had somebody come over and, um, oh, that just happened. Um, my phone ringing just at this moment. <laughs> um, so um, I have a, a pile of ice that's the size of a mattress there and it's pulling down the roof. And so it's, I'm, we're, we're trying to figure out, that's a lot of extra water. So a water log, where are you waterlogged in your life right now? That is a question to ask uh, with the Mercury in Pisces. And how can you let things not become a crisis emotionally for you right now? Because Pisces is all about emotional energy and how it can be overwhelming sometimes for us. And so where in your life is emotional energy overwhelming you? So that's, that's one thing we have going on this week. Um, also, it is the spring equinox on uh, Thursday. Thursday, in just a couple of days, we have um, the sun moving into Aries. And this is the astrological new year. It's the time when um, our nature is to sort of join with spring and begin. Begin new things, have a new impulse, get excited about what's coming up. And um, uh, move from that very instinctual energy that you have inside of you. Uh, for the new and you may feel now keep in mind this is square to all this pluto uh saturn stuff J jupiter and is it mars now yes in capricorn which is rigid it's structural it's it's from the top down it's hierarchical it's corporate it's government which what is that energy saying right now it's saying no stop restriction you know, clamping down. And here's this new moon in Aries that's going square. It's like, I want to start something new. I'm going to pioneer it. I'm going to do for me, me, me. And the system is saying, no, you're not. And what does this look like? Time out. So we're having kind of an exciting conflict between our needs to express, move forward in our lives with this spring energy. We want to spring forward and do something and the system or the energy outside of us, systems that exist already, are not wanting anything pioneered. Do not start, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Does that make sense? And that's what that square is. It's a time out. 
So we have to negotiate that because the square is always a choice. It's a choice between me and what do I want, what's good for me and my, my self-actualization, uh, and what is the system allowing? How much of that do I need to pay attention to the rules, the regulations that are outside of me, um, and do what I'm told? So we've got that energy happening. We also have, um, oh yes, on Friday, Mars conjunct Jupiter. This is where things get really big. So our energy, Mars is our energy and our intention. It's also our aggression. It's the way we're acting. And Jupiter is an expansive, gaseous, you know, let's get it bigger with this. So you'll notice around you other people perhaps getting very, you know, there may be um, a spike in aggression or a spike in um, just it's, you know, it magnifies everything. So just pay attention to what you want, where you want your energy to go, because there's almost this like explosive um, possibility and potential when you have Mars that's going to go for it and Jupiter that's like going to make it bigger. So just keep that in mind as well this week. Your energy could get bigger. So just think of it that way. Or also the energy could get bigger in the collective. Does that make sense? And last but not least, on Sunday we have Saturn moving into Aquarius, where it hasn't been since uh, around, I'll probably get this wrong, but the early 90s, I think 1992 or something. Um, Aquarius is our networks what we're vibing with, the people we're vibing with, humanity, large groups, humanitarianness, um, the awareness of collective, of other people, of groups, of group mind, group mind. Because if you look at those two lines that are like two, two squiggles, I can't write this down quickly, but anyway, two squiggles, one on top of the other. It's like two lightning bolts on the side. And that signifies, you know, it's very Uranian. It has to do with what are you tapping into with your mind and your thoughts? Whose other thoughts are you connecting with? Who do you connect with? Whose thoughts do you not want to connect with? Um, what are you taking on and um, creating a future from? You know, Saturn is a crystallizing, it's, it's, a, it's a restrictive influence, but it's also a clarifying and crystallizing influence. So we are going to begin to crystallize who are our people, who are our networks, how do we want to network? How are we receiving, how do we want to crystallize our, our downloads that we're getting? How do you want to put that into form? So those are some ideas for that. It's not everything, of course, but that you'll feel that shift in your, your energy and in the energy. You'll feel people maybe gathering in new groups, finding new, new connections. So let's draw a card. Oh, I have nowhere to do this. Let's see. Put that down. Let's just do it over here. I have quite a collection of things here. Let's just see. This is just for the sun moving into Aries. I got, this is the Osho Zen today. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right, well, this is the message. So who am I? Don't shoot the messenger, okay? The first one is morality. Now this card is, look at that character. That's kind of an austere character. And we've got a few of them. But we may find that with this sun moving into Aries, that there is a, um, oh, this is, these are so external, these cards. Um, it's gonna help if I add this one in. So mind, we've gotten this one before. It's kind of, you know, 
This is what the inside of our mind may look like right now. There may be some judginess in the atmosphere, mental judginess with the morality card, the lockdown that we have mentally on one another, also on ourselves, how we judge ourselves, regret coming in. Um, again, these are mind cards and it's about mastering Hmm. Doing what, what you feel is right, but mastering a non-judgmental space, if you can, when, with regard to our fellow people, because, you know, we're dealing with this Saturn moving into Aquarius, and these are mental cards where you can see these people are kind of shut down. They're kind of blocked, right? I mean, look, let me, look. I mean, they don't look that happy. And that's the way it happens when we clamp down and we're doing lockdown in our brains on others and our points of view. Um, the other card I got is a fire card. Look at that battle weary person, exhaustion. Now this comes up when we are trying to solve a problem from the same energetic space where it is. So say, say you, you have a headache and you're just like, I have a headache and, I, 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 and you just stay in that, in that, you know, battling with the headache instead of taking a different space, like lying down and letting, you know, when I used to get migraines, I knew that the migraine was going to win. And so what I would do is I would just find a dark space to lie down. I would lie down and I would surrender. I would just let go, let it drain out of the back of my head. And, and the visualization that I used was that the mattress was going to soak up that energy. And it did. It always did, but I had to totally surrender. So whenever I see the exhaustion card, it's a fire card. It's like you're just exhausted. Look, this person's been battling. They're just struggling. And so um, this is a time when we have to be willing to, to surrender the battles a little. And you may notice some people exhausting themselves around you um, with their battling. Um, now, I want to read to you the other card. And it's like the most positive card I got for the sun moving into Aries. Wow, what a, what a punch those three were. Um, you're going to see me with my reading glasses, which will be fun for all of us. Um, this is from uh, the Aboriginal Goddess Chakra Cards. And this I drew actually before the other ones, I drew this before starting, and it is inner instinct. Isn't that beautiful? I really like that. Let me read to you what she says. Inner instinct is our inner wisdom that cannot be influenced by all the other events that are happening around us. We all have the ability to understand the universe at a deeper level and listen to the messages she gives to us Random, random thoughts and voices that have no place in this earthly plane. Wow, that's an important line. You have to listen to your seventh chakra. You've got to listen to your inner voice right now and stop the clamor from the outside world. She, our inner voice, talks to us constantly. However, like the children we are, we often choose to ignore the chatter from our mother as we are busy playing grown-ups and have no need for parental interaction in our version of the game. The game. So think about what aspects of life really are a game right now and how you can play that game differently for you so that you feel happier. The universe is giving you very clear messages. In fact, these messages are so clear that it would be easy to believe that you're stuck in your own personal version of Groundhog Day. Being stubborn and rebelling against change is not an endearing quality. Uh, it's hard work for everyone and it's time for you to take a break and give in. What did I say about surrender with that exhaustion card? It's time to surrender. You know, we're all sort of in some sort of lockdown everywhere in the world right now, right? We're, we're, we're sequestered. And so it's a time for us to listen to our inner voice and just surrender all the things we can't figure out in the world 
there's going to be a time and a space. Everything's going to get sorted out. It just has this way of doing it in life. It does get sorted out. And we're really uncomfortable until that point happens. But it's, you know, contributing to the stress of it isn't going to help. Um, not every event needs to be a battle, and not every battle has to be won. Mm. Sometimes a truce is just an alternative way to win while still keeping your dignity. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the ego part of us wants to battle it out, which is fine. Our ego's here to keep, keep us safe and keep us in our bodies. Thank you, ego. I love you. Um, so I almost feel like this is a rewind kind of thing because there's a lot of different stuff in there, but we've got a shift in the astrology that's really pretty significant right now. You'll feel it in yourself, but whatever you do, just listen to your inner voice. And remember, I'm here. You can leave comments or questions. You can share this if it, if it will, if you like this and it helped you and it will help others. Um, enjoy this, this shift this week. And I will talk to you very soon.